You can apply to Lambeth Council for housing benefit to help with your housing costs as long as certain criteria are met. You can claim housing benefit if any of the following apply to you. You're of pensionable age, you live in temporary accommodation, you live in specified accommodation where your landlord is a housing association, charity or voluntary organisation and you receive care support and supervision. If you are receiving a severe disability premium as part of a legacy benefit claim, mixed age couples, in a couple, both members need to be of pensionable age. If none of these apply to you, you'll need to apply for universal credit to cover your housing costs. If you live in temporary or care supported accommodation, you'll need to apply for housing benefit to help with your housing costs and universal credit to help with any other costs. Housing benefit can cover all of your rent or just part of it and you can claim whether you are employed or unemployed. How much you'll receive depends on your income, where you live and the size of your family. Savings over £16,000 usually mean you won't be able to get housing benefit, although the £16,000 limit does not apply if you or your partner get pension credit guarantee. Also, if you have savings over £6,000 or £10,000 for pensioners, this will usually affect how much housing benefit you can get. To complete the application, you will need to have scanned copies of identity documentation available. You'll be given the chance to upload these at the end. There are two kinds of evidence you need to supply. First, you'll need to provide evidence of your national insurance number. This could be a P45, P60, wage or salary statement, tax letter, Department for Work and Pensions notification letter, national insurance card or a benefit book, but not child benefit. For self-employed people, you can submit a bank statement showing Class 2 national insurance payments paid by direct debit, providing it shows your national insurance number. We need to see one of these documents. Secondly, you'll need to supply evidence of identity. We need to see either a UK passport, photo card driving licence or international identification document. If you can't provide one of these, we will accept a combination of at least two of the following. Utility bill, bank statement, national insurance card, birth certificate, marriage certificate, home office documents, Department of Work and Pensions letters. All documents must be originals and if your application has progressed, it will need to be verified in person in the Civic Centre between 10 and 12 or 2 and 4 Monday to Friday. You can start your application online by filling out a form on our website. When you go to the form, you'll have the option to restart a saved form or to go straight to our calculator to see how much you may be eligible for. The information you enter into the calculator can be used to fill in the form automatically. To start a new application, go to Start a Calculation and click the Go button. The next page asks you about your circumstances. At the top, you'll be given a reference number. Write this down as you can use it to save your application and complete it later. At the bottom of each page, you'll be given the option to save the application if you would like to do this. First, enter whether you're single or part of a couple. This question is optional. Then enter your date of birth. Use the drop-down menus to select any other benefits you already receive and to tell us if you're a carer or receive disability living allowance. You'll then be asked a question on your current living situation, such as whether you own or rent your home and who you rent it from. Finally, you'll be asked to confirm what you're making an application for. Housing benefit, housing benefit and council tax support or council tax support only. Note, if you're residing in council temporary accommodation, you may have been placed outside of Lambeth Borough. If this is the case, you must still apply for housing benefit through Lambeth Council, but you will need to make an application for council tax support through the borough you're residing in. The second page asks you how many children under 20 you and your partner receive child benefit for. You then have to give us the date of birth and sex of each child and whether they are disabled or registered blind. You'll also have to tell us if they receive DLA. Remember that you can save your application at any time if you need to come back to it later. The third page asks you how many adults over 18 live with you and your partner. For each, you'll need to tell us if they work more than 16 hours a week, their gross weekly income if they do work and any benefits they claim. The fourth page asks you to tell us if you're registered blind, get a carer's allowance, need a non-residence carer yourself, or have a motability scheme vehicle. You can tick all that apply. On the fifth page, you'll need to tell us any other benefits you receive. Again, tick all that apply. On the next page, you'll need to let us know about other expenses or income. These could include a private pension, rent from a border, or contributions to a student loan. Finally, you'll need to tell us about the rent you pay and about your council tax. Click the Submit button and wait while we save your information. You'll then be told whether you're eligible for housing benefits, council tax support and how much you are likely to receive. 
It is important you take note of these figures, as this will give you an indication of how much rent you will be liable to pay whilst you are awaiting the full assessment of your housing benefit, so that you can begin making payments towards your rent, so that you do not incur rent arrears. You'll be given the option to use this information to populate the application form itself. Choose Use My Details to start an online claim. You'll be asked to enter your name in order to start the application. When you go through the application, you'll see that some fields have already been filled out with the information you put in the calculation form. Please check that this is correct. On the first page, tell us about yourself by filling in your name, date of birth, address and national insurance number, along with your preferred contact details. Remember that you'll need to fill out all the information, other than optional questions, before proceeding to the next page. Next, you'll need to answer some questions about your claim. These include whether you have made claims for other benefits but not yet received them. You'll need to confirm that you understand we will check the information you submit to make sure that it's accurate. Next, you'll need to give some more information about yourself, such as your nationality. Next, you'll need to tell us about your tenancy, including your landlord's name and address details and when the tenancy started. Next, you'll need to tell us about your rent and the number of rooms in the property. Some of this information should already be entered. Next, you'll need to tell us about any special circumstances, including whether you receive personal independence payments or disability living allowance. If you answer yes to any, you might be asked for some further details. Next, you'll be asked to specify any benefits you receive. Make sure that any that apply are ticked. The benefit is to be paid to you or directly to your landlord in specific instances. If you want to be paid to yourself, you will need a bank account, so make sure you have the details to hand. If you don't have a bank account, the Brixton Credit Union may be able to help you. Note that if you are residing in council temporary accommodation, the benefit will automatically be paid to your landlord, the council. You will be asked if we can share information about your claim with your landlord or representative, and if you give permission for us to talk to someone else about your claim, such as a carer, friend or social worker. Finally, if it is required, you'll be asked to upload your evidence and supporting documentation and to confirm a declaration that you have submitted accurate information. When your form is submitted, please make sure to check and read the evidence checklist that is produced. This will clarify what evidence is required from you for your claim. It is important that you submit your evidence and supporting documentation. If you do not have this available, please do not delay in submitting your housing benefit claim. You will be able to submit the evidence separately. You can submit evidence online or in person at the Civic Centre. If in person, all documents must be originals and if your application is progressed, it will need to be verified in person in the Civic Centre 